Walnut oil has a distinctive, mild, nutty flavor and aroma. It's also nutritious because it's high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are crucial for brain function, reduce inflammation, and may even help lower the risk of heart disease, arthritis, and other chronic conditions. Walnut oil is sometimes used for sautéing, but it's more often consumed cold, typically in salad dressings. Walnut oil produced for non-culinary purposes goes through a refining process, which removes the flavor. Walnut oil produced for gastronomy is unrefined, so it retains its nutty taste and scent. Walnut oil has one ingredient, and one ingredient only, English walnuts. The oil factory buys them from the supplier already shelled. Production methods are much the same as they were 150 years ago. The first step is to shovel the walnuts into a grinder. The grinder pulverizes this combination of full kernels and broken pieces until everything's fairly uniform, roughly three millimeters in size. Next step, roasting. Workers pour the ground walnuts into a cast iron kettle on a gas burner. For 30 minutes or so, a rotating arm continuously stirs them to ensure they roast evenly. Roasting enhances both the flavor and aroma. The shelled walnuts have gone from large pieces to ground pieces to roasted pieces. Now they're ready to have the oil squeezed out of them. This cast iron expeller press dates back to the early 1900s. Workers line the bottom with a mat made of natural fibers. This will prevent the walnuts from leaking out under pressure. After loading the press with the walnuts, they close it up and set the press in position. Then they release the piston. It descends and applies 200 kilograms of pressure per square centimeter, crushing the walnuts and expelling the oil in the process. The oil exits the press through small slots around the perimeter, flows down to a trough, which channels it to a spout, which pours it into a collection vat. Two kilograms of nuts yield one liter of oil. What's left in the press is walnut meal. It's used by pastry chefs to add a nutty crunch to cakes. It's also sold to farmers who use it for cattle feed. The extracted oil, meanwhile, moves on to the last phase of the process, filtration. The filter press is comprised of 16 grooved plates made of food-safe plastic with paper filters in between. Workers compress the plates and filters. Then start up a powerful pump, which forces the walnut oil from one end of the press to the other. Along the way, the filters trap all the minuscule particles of walnut, wax and other natural materials, clarifying the oil. This process takes a few hours, at the end of which the once cloudy oil is clear. Packaging walnut oil in clear glass bottles would look appetizing, but would actually shorten the product's shelf life. That's because walnut oil is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which, while good for you, are sensitive to light. Therefore, walnut oil is traditionally bottled in tin. After the automatic equipment fills the tin container, workers loosely apply a snap-on cap, which the next machine presses into position. Last stop, labeling. As the tin spins, the machine wraps it in an adhesive-backed label, neatly aligning the label seam with the welded seam on the tin. Now the oil's ready to drizzle a rich walnut taste onto your pasta, grilled meat or fish, or salad.